Hello everyone, it's me, Chase Kamita. Welcome back to Dave.exe. Last episode, we beat all a Money Chan's challenge. You see Money Chan in the back. In this episode, we're gonna tackle Pumpkin's challenges. We're not doing Hannah's yet because I've heard horror stories about the Tunky challenge and Hannah's. Uh, so we're just gonna do Pumpkin's. And I'm um, pretty excited to get another Owo charm. I didn't realize the first Owo charm I got was gonna be so useless in the gameplay. Apparently this one enhances your tuck and roll and the other one enhances like something about your sprint speed, which is crazy. Easy, super handy. Like part of me wants to do that one next, but no, I'm not gonna take the easy way out. I'm gonna do pumpkins next. So anyway, before I get started, I have a secret to tell you guys. You're actually not subscribed to my channel. You may think you are because you see my videos in recommended and you click them and watch them all the time, but you're actually not. So I'm gonna need you to go underneath the video, hit the subscribe, hit the bell button. And the reason I'm saying this is because 70% of you guys who watch my videos are actually not subscribed. I see the analytics and uh, that's that's what I got. So anyway, it's been helping. It used to be 90%, now it's 70%. So me doing this intro thing here has helped a lot, believe it or not. I don't, hey, it, I, Cool. <laughs> so anyway, while you're down there, go ahead and like the video, leave a comment, or dislike the video. If you don't like it, just make sure you hit the dislike button twice so I really know you didn't like it. So anyway, we're gonna get started. Let's do Pumpkin's Challenges. Get his ass partner. Dear Sam, I'm sorry. And Dave's definition of being edgy. Now, I, full disclosure, this is my second time trying to record this video because I was trying to do get his ass partner, and it is so hard. There are so many enemies on the map. I don't know if it's a challenge that I accepted or something from one of the NPCs in the main hub world or what, but there's so many enemies live in this. Howdy partner, name's Pumpkin. Heard you've been helping a lot around the timelines, so I thought I'd come to you for some help. You see, I recently visited the fort factory to find a nice spot for a picnic, but that two time and backstabber Edge Dave took over the timeline before I got a chance to sit down. It'd mean a lot to me and my friends here if you could show that no good slime bag who's boss. So items are allowed. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and accept it now, but I can actually grab items here in a minute, like if it gets too difficult, because it was pretty hard earlier when I was trying, okay? Also, I bought a few hats. Um, nothing fancy, obviously I'm still gonna use the boofy hat. But my strategy right now, like this is how you know, like I, I get fed up with a challenge, is when my strategy becomes Am I about to get pincered for real? Yeah. I just died. I just died. That was death. I died. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> it's crazy. All right, we're going to keep retrying. I'm going to get it. And if I die like a couple more times, that was nuts, dude. You saw that. It's not just me. That's how intense this challenge is. It's, it's crazy. Granted, I didn't really... I didn't really use my time wisely getting out of there, but I thought I was about to get pincered, man. What? Yeah, definitely. Please don't come this way. No shot, dude. That's death. I can't do anything. Because, uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do. See? Okay, so I'm going to stop going there first. Message received, Dave. Message received, Dave. You like to make hard games. We get it. Just be careful. Dave, I'm, this is me. To you. Just be careful making so many hard games. People are going to stop playing them, dude. I'm telling you. I speak from experience, okay? People are never going to finish them. And that's bad. Okay, so I think this is solid, actually. This is really solid. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. That's why I, personally, that's why I, I'm i going on this kick where I'm, I'm gonna try to make my games a lot easier and a lot more player friendly because I want people to have fun playing my games and to play, that's why I've been like, I've been thinking about doing like a, a linear story type game rather than doing the challenge games I've been doing, you know? Like, sure, I, I've, uh, I obsessed over challenge games for a while earlier on in the YouTube uh, growth of my channel. No, I didn't. But, um, but now, it's like, I want to... Oh, no. I want to appeal to, like, a more widespread audience, I guess, if that makes any sense. 
So I want to make the games, I want to make my games way more accessible, way more fun, and I want to have like more features. I want, I don't want them to be as difficult, you know, like sure I want them to be some moderate difficulty the further you get down the line, but I don't want it to be ungodly like almost RNG. Or where it almost so difficult to where it feels like it's out of your control, you know, like I, I'm not digging. No way, dude. No way, dude. No way, dude. Okay, well, I'm not this one out now. Because I'm here. This is four out of five. Then we have the one in the middle of the map. Just gotta get it. Go, go, go. No shot! No way, dude! Whew. Oh my god. Oh my god! This is insane. This is crazy. You get like... I'm trying, Barry. It's not the easiest thing in the world to get this soda for you. It's not good. I don't know which way he's coming from. <laughs> Does he chase you forever? Okay, maybe it's just like, oh my God. Dude. Dude, this is crazy! Alright, last one and Barry's right there, dude. Last one and Barry's right there. I just gotta not get seen and I got it. Oh my god! Let's get out! Go. Go. Because the the YFA agents can one-shot you, apparently. Let's get out of here. Let's get out. Let's go, 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 go. Woo! Dude. That was insane. I wonder if that was, like, the mission challenge that was... Escape artist bonus, charm bonus. Charm bonus? What does that mean? I, I didn't even get hit. That makes me feel really good about myself for not getting hit. That, apparently that was actually just the challenge. Yo. Crazy. Crazy. That was... Listen, guys. I know it looks like I did it in like eight minutes, right? Or seven minutes. I played that challenge for like 20 minutes and scrapped the video. So honestly, honestly. Ugh. Ugh. It's hard, man. It's hard. Like, don't get me wrong. Hard games are nice every once in a while because you get that satisfaction of finally beating it. Good gravy. What happened to you? You were shot to hell? Yikes. I certainly wasn't expecting Edgy Day to rack up a whole squad of gun-wielding cowboys. Okay. While you were away, though, I got you a little something. It ain't a bulletproof vest, but please spend those schmeckles on one. On one. Okay. Thank you. Challenge completed. You can buy a bulletproof vest now. I need more stuff to use these tickets on. Dear Sam, I'm sorry. Dave's definition of being edgy. Okay. Dear Sam, I'm sorry. This is this is a shot at the game, Salmon. <laughs> oh, dear me. I was planning on having us all go out and have a picnic, but there's a nest of nasty baby spiders lurking around my favorite getaway spot in Platypus Pines. Could you wipe them out for me by emptying their food supply? The vending machines, to be exact. That'll teach those environments not to mess with old pumpkin. First person disabled items allowed. Let's do it. So basically, there's a bunch of spiders we gotta avoid. And platypus pines. And it's very dark. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Nice. I love the darkness. That's like a that's like a horror game staple there. It's... Oh, I see. Are they slow or? You can't see them, dude. I think you can outrun them though. I want to. I want to say. I hope you can outrun them. I sure hope so. Where's that? That machine. I am in the open. There's just darkness behind me. You have to use the flashlight here. It's impossible. 
I can't see anything, dude. Why is it so dark? Why'd you go here at night? Why'd you go here during the day? Bruh. <laughs> Dave. Hey, man. What's this? Oh. I don't know. Uh-oh. Hot dog. Just something on the other side. I can't see. I'm gonna run around the corner and there's gonna be one there, right? Like, that makes sense. Oh, I kind of see where we are now. So, am I scared for nothing? Like, is there actually something crawling around in the abyss? They said a lot of baby spiders, right? I'm expecting a lot of baby spiders. I've only seen the one so far. Please, no. I would like to not get attacked by a bunch of baby spiders. I would like this to just be a smooth run. But you know, something tells me I'm gonna get got right at the end. Whoa, see what I mean? How? How, do you sp how are you supposed to know where to go? How are you supposed to know where to go, dude? Okay, it's fine. I knew it, dude. I had a feeling. Bruh. Okay, I think you are faster than them. As long as they don't, like... Not lose you. <laughs> I mean, you lose them, right? Like, I, I lost it earlier. I need, like... More health. Okay, so as long as you, like, know, pay attention where they're coming from, you're fine. You can definitely outrun these dudes. Go for the vending machine, then get hey, I'm trying, up. Barry. You, you got... Oh, Nelly. There's two of them. How many are there? Are there just two? Are there more than two? There's more than two. That one's stuck. Eh, okay, cool. That's fine. I can train them all behind me. It's all good. I'm like the Pied Piper. That's the story, right? Pied Piper gets things to follow him. I don't know. But with spiders, it's fine. It's not scary at all. It's totally fine. I just got to not run into a dead end, basically. Ugh. Just way easier said than done. Uh, okay. I'm smart. I'm dead. <laughs> no, stop it. Just leave me alone. This whole challenge is just going to be spiders chasing me the whole time. I don't want it. Oh, my God. Why is this happening to me? Why? Are they still chasing me or nah? Okay, I'm gonna try to get this now. If I die, then what? I die. I have one more after this. I don't know where it is. Oh my god, please. Just stop it! Just let me go! I don't even know what's happening. Where's the last one? Where's the last one? I just gotta stay forever vigilant. That's not it. Uh oh, dead end. Yay! I'm so salty. <laughs> I'm so salty. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm just a salty boy right now. I'm tired, okay? I don't- I didn't feel like playing the hardest game in the universe today. So I'm gonna bitch about it. I'm gonna bitch about it. I have no idea what this map even looks like! How am I supposed to remember what to do and where to go if I can't see shit? Oh my god. Like, look, there's no landmarks. I feel like I'm playing Slender Mickey right now. Jesus. Okay, there's something.
Okay. I'm about to get seen. Yeah, I knew it. Bruh. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Follow me. Totally fine. There's another one. Oh, good. It happened again. <laughs> Dude, this is nuts, man. You got to really keep your cool in this challenge, though. It's like the surefire way to complete it. Just stay calm. And hope nothing comes up behind you. This is number two. This is the same number two I did earlier. So I'll, I can see a little bit. I wish I could turn the brightness up in this game. Go around the back, same way I came. Stay along the edge. The edge. All right. There's one in here, confirmed. As long as there's no spiders in here. All right, looking good. This is number three. Number four is on that little island, and number five is like, I don't even know. I, I, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I feel like this challenge is way more chill, though, than the other one. This is like a kind of a breath of fresh air. Like, I get it. It's difficult. Like, it's got its own difficulty, but it's, it's way, way easier to handle right now. I just got to get this one fast. Come on. Come on, Dave. Hurry. We gotta not get got. We gotta not get got. See, so yeah, I keep going. Keep going. Don't get got. Keep calm. Don't get got. There it is. Last one. Last one, baby. Oh, man. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get this done. I really can't. I'm not going to lie. Spiders freak me out a little bit. And you know, that's like a natural thing. Like, humans are naturally afraid of spiders because the way they move is unnatural to us. It's just, it's too different. It's too sporadic, spontaneous. Hand over the shit. I got you. I got the bull. Okay. Yeah, same, dude. All right. See ya. Thanks for the free challenge, nerds. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It's baby spiders. That, that was pretty easy. I'm not going to lie. I bitch a lot. If you guys notice, every time I die, I just like go on like a, a complaining spree. It depends on my mood, I think. Honestly. Da I know Dave can take it though. I've, I've bitched to Dave about his games a lot. And it's just become like a gag. At this point. Alright, here we go. Last challenge. I don't even know what it is. I haven't looked... I'm completely blind to this one. I knew what the spider one was because I edited Sam's video. And I knew what the first one was because I tried it in a previous try. A previous attempt. Dear Sam, I'm sorry. And that's all the sandwiches packed up nicely. Thanks again for your help. The picnic should be a success now that you've cleaned that place up good. All we need now is some dessert. Yay! Good thing you're a microwave. You can make, make your own. I'll be here all week. Alright, here we go. Dave's de definition of being edgy. That edgy bastard. Ugh, sorry, I didn't notice you were there. Mm, so this picnic thing ain't going too well right now. I was planning on getting some ingredients for the pumpkin pie I was going to make. But edgy Dave cleaned the store shelves out completely. Literally, everything's gone. I'm so flustered right now. Please do me a huge favor and send him to hell. <laughs> First person enabled. Items allowed. I don't... What's this supposed to mean? Something about stores? Uh, where's this going to be? Is it going to be super dark? I don't know. I don't know anything about this challenge in the principal's point, baby. I don't know. I don't understand. Oh, so D edgy Dave is active. So edgy Dave is active. Okay. I mean, as long as I can figure out where these things spawn, this is just going to be a learning curve for me. Who is that? That is a thing over there, right? Oh, it's just edgy notebooks. Where is Dave? Where is edgy Dave? So, as long as we find edgy Dave and, like, stay... Yep, okay. Cool, so we just stay away from edgy Dave and everything's gonna be just fine. Just keep good distance. Oh, it's more than just edgy Dave. He's got some goons, too. Great. As long as he can't, like, 
cut me off somewhere. Yeah, this is fine. Why is Dave so short in first person mode here? Is that like, is that usual? Is that, that's the usual, right? Like I'm not, whatever. Is that edgy Dave? No, edgy Dave's down there. So what's over here? Oh, it must be one of the lights. Oh, that's so cool. That's such a cool, that got me. I was like, what's that? Nice. Nothing in here. Dude, this ambience is so good. Nothing in here. Okay. I'm just gonna keep going. If, if I can keep an eye on Edgy Dave, I'm fine, right? I just don't want to get pincered by anything. It's definitely not what you want here. What's in, what's in here? Nothing. Okay. Yo. Run! Don't stop running! Wait, hang on. Is he just there? He's just hanging out? Edgy Dave about to pop. Okay, I got this. I'm probably about to die. I'm pretty sure I have like no distance between me and Edgy Dave. Edgy Dave about to come up in here and just show me what's up. Come in here, daddy. <laughs> Alright, two out of five. We're about to die. Oh no, it's the same challenge! I guess I'll die. He just got me through the. Okay. Why does he have a green shirt on? Anyway, that's uh, that one doesn't count. Don't worry about it. I'm just like I said, it's a learning curve. I'm learning. This uh this this might take a while. I'm just like kind of trying to learn this map. Okay, so we went forward, right? We went forward first. Okay. We got this one. And then we can go into the hallway and I kind of want to see if like there's a, another area you can go into cuz the, the way you play this game is all the AI spawns in a specific spot. You kind of want to know where they spawn or get an idea where they spawn. Like, I don't know. They might be randomized. Who knows? But, um, Dave loves randomizing things. But they all spawn in, like, a decent spot. And if you could figure that out, then you can kind of get to a few of these things before. All right. All right. All right. We get it. Okay. We get it. You can kind of get to the, um, the machines before they get to you, you know what I'm saying? So the second machine was pretty far out. Like, it, <laughs> it was, like, around a bunch of corners. Yeah, none of these. Very interesting. Very cash money. If I do say so myself. And there's this guy. I wonder if there's anything down there. There's probably something down there. There's nothing in there. We're just kind of circling the whole area. Nothing in there confirmed. All right, so we get this one, we get out. This is where we died last time because we were taking our time exploring, learning the map. And uh, it's good. I mean, I mean, technically losses are more valuable than winning because you learn more from losing. But like, nobody's trying to be a pro Dave EXE player here. So, all right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Should be catching up a little bit. There's the phone down there. There's the bully. Hopefully nobody pee paws me. That should be the office that, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ooh, Randy. Randy? Okay. There's definitely one in here. Oh no, no, Dave! They've my gun flavor! No! Oh, where? You will bow down to a teammate! Yow! Well, that's that's bad. Yeah, I guess I'm dead. I guess I'm dead out of the blue. And that's that's a big thing in this game too. Is you can Wow. Calm down all sounds in the world. That's the thing in this game too. Is like 
And you can strategize as much as you want. You can you can do as well as you want. You can get as lucky as you want. At any second, you can just get fucked. Like if something could come around the corner. Or everything can come around the corner and just destroy you. It's it's insane. So we got Rock'em Sock'em Randy, we got Beans, and we got Edgy Dave. So we got two Padre characters and Edgy Dave. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, here we go. We got 87.68. Schmeckles, what? Whack. Alright, so I'm gonna take a right this time down that hallway with a silhouette. Instead of going... Oh. Am I really, though? Am I going... Okay. Bruh. I, I think it's it is definitely randomized. Just terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Like, I'm really starting to get, like... Wow. I'm really starting to feel I don't know about the randomization. So there's one in the in the room broom closet. Nice. Alright, alright, alright. So we start in that long hallway, basically. Is what it is. And this is just the regular Baldi map. So there's one in detention. There's one in the long hall. <gasps> Dave! And that is the worst AI to find you or to see you because you can't get away from him. Like you legitimately, you're done. You're just done. Just gotta run from him for long enough. Jesus, dude. Look at that's nuts! How are you supposed to dodge that? Can you go the other way? Thank you. My god. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna- I'm gonna bitch about it. I'm just gonna bitch about it because that's how I am. That's how I am. I get- I get to where I'm just like, okay. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. We got three! Woo! Uh, oh no. Not beans. Not today, baby. No! Okay, okay, okay. Hi. Okay. This is the long hallway on the left side of the school. Oh my god. Okay, nothing in there. Lunch room. Definitely gotta have one, right? No? Alright. It's... It's so weird! Where are you? Oh. Hi. Is there one in here? No. Oh boy. Oh my. No way. Oh my god! No way, dude! I can't. I have to run. There's nothing I can do. I'm, I'm screwed. I'm done. Like, I'm screwed. It, 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 I got pincered. There's nothing you can do about that. There's nothing you can do about that. Randy's all the way up my ass right now. I'm just trying to run this long hallway as fast as I can, but sprint speed, you know, the enemies are faster than you in this game. So it is what it is. Okay, I lost him. Where are you going, man? Are you kidding me right now? There's nothing I can do. Dude, there was nothing I could do. Dude, that's nuts. See what I mean? See what I mean? You see what I mean? You you see it? Ah, oh, it's ridiculous. Okay, so we start on the hallway on the right side. So if we get this one right here, 
Gee, the one where we just died, basically. Yeah, this is where we died. Oh my god, this game. <laughs> the AI, it, it, it's straight up just overpopulation of the map. It's crazy. Like, strategy can get you pretty far, but when you get in situations to where there's one on one end, one on the other, and there's no way out, then... He just turned straight back around. That's cool for me, though. Like, I'm cool with that. Edgy Dave's that way anyway. Edgy Dave spawns, like, I want to say in the cafeteria. Are you kidding me? You better not come down here. Okay. Yeah, I want to say Edgy Dave spawns in the cafeteria. All right, so there's, there's one in the broom closet. There's one in detention. He, t he pulled a Yui, dude. There's nothing I can do about this. Unless I happen to lose him. Edgy Dave was here. That's terrible. <laughs> Whew, so I'm doing the best I can with what I got, basically. It's pretty much nothing too much I can do. Pretty sure Dave's gonna be right around this corner, though. Buddy. Oh, yep. Okay, there he goes. We go this way. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Ah, yeah. Whatever you say, buddy. All right, 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 all right. So where was this other one, right? Like, was it back here? No. Oh, there's a room in here? I didn't know this was a room. Is that a new room? Whatever. <laughs> there's a machine in here. So so I know, I know where the last two are then. So there's one in uh, detention, and then there's one in that end hallway after the silhouette. So basically, the strat here is to rotate. Rotate back around. Get the det detention. What are you trying to shoot through the wall? <laughs> die. Da, da, die. This is fine. Randy's coming. I really don't want to pincer myself, so... Oh, oh, I didn't lose health for that. Okay. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's just I got too close. He was like on the other side of the wall. So he's in the cafeteria right now. Very cash money. I got to go into the detention. It's decently... I got to roll. I got to roll. I got to roll. We got to get out. Okay, it's fine. It's totally fine. I'm so glad for the red spotlights on all the enemies. Oh my god. Okay, this room right here. This room right here. This is number four, and the fifth one is in the detention room. Detention. That's what it's called, right? Just detention? The principal's office. The principal's office. That's what it's called. Yeah. Okay. That's why this is called the principal's quarters. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's fine. Whoa! We gotta go. It's time to go. Oh, I don't have my roll. I don't have my roll. I don't have my roll. I'm so close to having it too. I'm so close to having it. Oh, this was not smart. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it! Go, 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 go! No! Come on! Oh, my God, this game! I swear to God, this game. Oh, it's so broke sometimes. Okay, we just gotta get out. We gotta get this last one. Please don't come in here. If you come in here, I die. If you come in here, I lose the game. Okay, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I just have to rotate the map. I just have to rotate the map. I just have to rotate the map, it's fine. So where is the exit? What side is it on? 
Is it over here? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. This is so sketch. This is so sketch. I don't know where they are. Oh, they're both right here. No way, dude. No way, dude. No, no way does this game do this to me? Oh my god, I was so close. Oh, Dave, what the fuck are you on? This man, oh, this this dude. Impossiblechallenges.com, man. I swear to God, this is crazy. This is actually crazy. Huh, oh, what the fuck, dude? Uh, I was so fucking close. I was so fucking close. Man. Ugh. I'm just gonna go. Fuck it. He didn't see me. It's fine. This is crazy, dude. This is actually insane. This is such an insane challenge. My god. Okay, so we know there's one here. Ah, oh, Jesus. There's one in here. There's one, um... I really want to knock out the principal's office next, because that one is by far, like, the hardest one to do. Really wish I could sprint in here. I just wish I could keep track of everybody, man. And you can't. Okay. So we can't get the principal's office yet. We gotta go. Yeah, yeah, I know you'll catch up. I... Yeah, I know. Alright, so we gotta go in here, knock this one out. This is number three. Number four is at that hallway at the end, and number five is in the, the uh, principal's office. It's fine. We got this. Granted, I'm not using items right now. I could definitely use items, make it a little easier. Alright, here we go. Wow, that's nice, Dave. Thanks. I hate this so much. I hate this so much. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! This should not be a thing in game design. It should not be it. It makes no sense, dude. Like, how are you supposed to counter that? Like, how? How are you supposed to? What is the? What is the strategy? What is the learning curve? What am I learning? That's why it's so frustrating. I'm just. What? What is this? <laughs> it's just a dumpster fire, man. This challenge. There's no learning this challenge. Like with the spider one I did, I was complaining about that one and I was like, this is just RNG. So I just kept throwing my body at the spider. And then eventually one of the developers had to come in the chat and tell me how it worked, which is insane on its own. <laughs> and that was like, bro, <laughs> you shouldn't have to though. Like you should just be able to f learn and figure it out. There should be a learning curve and that's, I guess that's what's frustrating me. I don't know, I'm trying to pinpoint what's frustrating me about this. Like, I know, obviously I'm dying a lot, but like, whatever. I've, I've, I played fucking Final Fantasy Freddy's 50-20 mode. I've, I've gone through games where I've died a lot. I just, I want to learn how to beat it. And like, I just feel like there's, there's, I've learned as much as I can and now it's just relying on whether the AI both hit me at one time or not. And that's like, bruh. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I, I don't know. Like, maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe there's, like, a strategy around that. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm guilty, too. Like, I, 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 the games I've made 
are basically the same thing. You know, like they're they're so randomized and they're so ridiculous. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I am planning on kind of turning that around and like trying to make the games more like linear and learnable, you know? I don't know. It's just me. It's just my frustration. It's Dave's games and it, nothing against Dave's games. Dave's makes amazing games, obviously. Uh, I don't want it. I want you guys to feel like I'm shit talking Dave. And if Dave's watching this, I'm not shit talking you. I'm just like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure this out. Uh, <laughs> like it's so frustrating. Just not knowing. So I want, like, when I die in a game, that's something Five Nights at Freddy's has. If I die in a game, I, like, you can diagnose why you died. Simply by what killed you, you know? I really hope there's not an enemy around this corner. Okay, there's not. I think I'm good! Right? Gotta go all the way around here. Jesus. I guess I could've just, like, <laughs> whatever. So I get to run to the exit after this one. As long as I don't get pincered, I'm good. Which could very much happen. I don't know. Uh, the lunchroom's pretty good. Uh, I think Barry's down here to my right, but I think Dave is like right at my left. Yep, there he is. Roll, baby, roll! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Come on! Oh my god! He was right on me, dude! He tried to break my ankles! I didn't get escape artist, but you know what? I did it. I did it. I bitched all the way through it, but I did it. Oh my god, that was... I haven't raged that hard since the Joy of Creation story mode, I think. It, it feels nice being in my own house now, finally. And being able... Uh, Morty, being able to be loud, Morty. It feels good, but that... Oh, oh my god. With that, all pumpkins challenges are done? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So he was hiding everything he bought at Super Schoolhouse. That what was the purpose of that? I'd imagine it was try to lure you out, but you showed him you're not easy to take down. At least now we can finally have a proper picnic. All right, Uwo Charm unlocked. Check the loot cre uh, loot chest for more details. Let's look at this thing. See what this thing do. I think it's the tumble one. Tuck and tumble charm. An Uwo Charm you got from Pumpkin. Adorable little accessory reduces your dodge roll cooldown from 60 to 40 seconds. That's super handy, making it possible to dodge or recover faster than ever before. Pumpkin will do everything or anything to protect her friends, and this Uwo Charm is her way of thanking you for putting up with those tedious errands you had to endure. Let's equip that thing. Look at it. Look at it! Oh, it's so awesome, dude. Oh, I'm ready to tuck and roll faster. My body is ready. And with that, I'm done. We just have one more set of challenges to go. They're Hannah's challenges right over here. Our last microwave waifu, Miss Hannah. And I'm ready. I'm ready. So anyway, this game is good. Okay, all of Dave's games are good. I know I said a lot this episode. I got really frustrated. I meant what I said, you know, like I, I, I did like, um, but I, I'm, you gotta take it as criticism. You know what I mean? Like you can't, I love this. <laughs> you gotta take it as criticism. Like I, I don't mean anything bad by it at all. I just, I know what makes, makes fun, you know, like I know what fun games are like, <laughs> and like just trial and error, just, it, it gets old really fast. And I've, I've played games to where it, it's like it's so difficult and it's so like out of your control difficult to where you just you don't want to play anymore. And I don't want Dave to go down that path. You know, I, I'd hate that for him because like there's a lot of games that are pretty well balanced that he's made and they're they're fun. They're fun. And as a YouTuber, as a gamer in general, like I know there are different people with different tastes and a lot of people like harder challenge games and that's fine. But the it just it, it all comes from like being comfortable and like knowing what you like to play and uh and just having a good time in the end i guess what ga games are for you know like i'm really digging the whole rpg thing that he's putting into it like earning and learning and 
And obviously there was a learning curve in this challenge, but a lot of that whole like getting pincered in the hallways and not being able to get out fast enough and there literally being no way out is like, okay, <laughs> you know, like obviously you got items you could use to make that a little easier to balance it a little more. And honestly, I'm not sure how much Dave could do otherwise to balance it a little more. It all comes from having multiple players in one map and that's not something you can really blame him for. It's just... It's all a learning process, man. It's all part of the design. And like I said before a couple of times, I'm going to branch myself out in my future games to make them more like user friendly and playable instead of just repetitive trying the same thing over and over again until you finally eventually beat it. So, I mean, we got Baldi's basics for that. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you slap that like button underneath the video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.